Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to AD Gaming and our adventure in Detroit Become Human. Happy Thursday to everyone. I hope you guys are looking forward to the weekend. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Last time we left off, um, I had a little bit of a tangent about my rage quitting this game because of its narrative implications and how BS I think it is. Um, we left off with Connor. Um, continuing, I guess, to work with Lieutenant Anderson. I don't know why, because I thought uh, we finished the case from the Deviant who killed his owner. I don't know why we're still assigned to that, or maybe we're doing something else with that. But if we already got him to confess, we got the Andrew to confess, I don't know what more needs to be said, but I guess we'll figure this out. <clears throat> Hope everyone's looking forward to the weekend. I know I am. Uh, I do my Saturday and Sunday early morning streams of Death Stranding, so hope to see you guys there as well. Uh, we did this last time, okay. Also, because uh, I, I guess it didn't show it, but we also met with someone named Amanda, who I will consider as the mother of us, because uh, she has that hair about Lieutenant her. Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Okay, so just to go keep bitching about... <laughs> On my my rant. Um, any of Lieutenant these androids Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Any one of these androids can literally remove that indicator on the right temple, and if they were not wearing their uniform, they would be considered human. You might be in shock. Just Tensions in the Arctic. I don't know. I, it's it's such a terrible implication narratively wise. I don't understand it. I can't get behind it. Last time I did see somebody. I really wanted to. There he is. This fool right here. There you are. I'm sure you reported your missing daughter for sure. And I'm sure you didn't tell them that you were, you know, beating or trying to beat on her and that your android had to teach you a, a lesson. Wait a minute. Is she an android too? Hold on. This is this is who he was talking to. Is she an android? You and you come with me. Oh no, see? She wasn't. Okay. She's getting these androids. Oh, man, they're going to start hunting for her, aren't they? Oh, this is fun. Or rather, it's nice to see, you know, how things kind of mesh together. I saw I could read something here. This I can read. All right. The three laws of robotic parenting. World War Three. President Warren at 33% approval. The three laws of robotic parenting. No, get the fuck out of here. When CyberLife initially released their child range, the public were skeptical of purchasing a family. Now the collection is one of the CyberLife's bestseller, but is this really a surprise? Oh, fuck off. Oh, no. I would never. I'm sorry. I understand there are people that have issues with conceiving and, you know, but why don't you fucking adopt? Do you know the issues we have with adoption? So many people would rather buy a fucking Android than just adopt a kid. Nah, I'm sorry. I can't fuck with that. I could not fuck with that. If CyberLife did actually did that, I, I would be protesting that on principle. He's like, no, 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 no. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Okay, thank Thanks. you, officer. So I'm the most advanced, so then what am I... I mean, I'm, I'm, I was designed to hunt deviants and to help the police, off, the police officer, so... I expect my entire trial run here will be documented. But yeah, no, fuck Cyberlife for, for making robotic children. No, 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 no. That's some sci-fi nightmare shit. I would never be for it. Progress the case. Learn about Dependent Anderson and go see the Deviant. What do you mean progress to the case? We have a confession. What more do we need? Play the thing. What is that? Sounds like rock music, right? Knights of the Black Death. Dark heavy metal. Okay. He likes dark heavy metal. Wouldn't they call that like black metal? Call Hank Anderson. No, don't call him. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent I'm sure by Cyberlife. I'm knows you by now, Connor. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. 
just a way to cover my ass, just to make sure he can't say, oh, I wasn't told. No, 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 I left you a message. Calories, 452, saturated fatty acids. Yo, don't hit him like that, bro. Let him have his donuts. Coffee cup. Traces of caffeine. Yeah. He has a plant? A Japanese maple. That's... Huh. That's kind of out there. Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Android free space. Oh, these are the slurs that they have now? I can't zoom in. If you're not a bartender, then go away. How's my driving? I don't care. What is this? Ah, oh, he's a basketball fan. Okay. Or at least he has that. Matches. He smokes. Or maybe he just has it. Matches are always good to have on. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest is a domestic blow. Red ice epidemic. Again, is brought up with a number of high profile dealers and suppliers. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the uh, model investigative police work. Oh, well, what happened? Can I see the second one, please? You got promoted to lieutenant, of course. The police officers, police departments will always, you know, give out that press release. Amongst talented police officers I've ever worked with. Rise quickly through the ranks. He's already tipped as future commissioner. And we near and we have a new record seizure of red ice. And Lieutenant Anderson was instrumental in that. February. So February he did a good stuff. He was promoted in August and then November. And then November he got a new drug bust. So he was on the up and up. So what happened? What is this? Canine hair is a St. Bernard dog. Oh, he's got a dog. Multi-department unit responsible for the red ice. Oh, so this is his team. Real police, a good Carl. A good call. Now so, so you owe me $50. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. That's adorable. Yeah, he was a decorated officer. So what happened? It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Oh, good lord, bro. He just got in the office. He just he just walked in the door. I could listen in or explore the office. I kind of want to listen. I want to know what's going on. I need the only information I get. Am I allowed to enter, though? Am I allowed to enter? I mean, we're partners. On this case. I should listen in. We're partners. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Okay. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. Right, right, right. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. Yeah. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before oh, the shit hits the fan. We're setting up a new task force. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Nice. Why, me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? You're the I best one I got. I'm the qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, oh, okay. and you left me holding the bag. That's true. I was Cyber like, sent over this android to help with the investigation. Time. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. Yeah, you are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn you mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. Yeah. So come I don't on. have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is yeah. over. Yeah. Hank, Jeffrey, like... Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I mean, he's got a point, though. It's like, I'm your captain, bro. I put you on a case, you do it. But he also has a point. Nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to be 
I'm very pleased to have joined the team. Oh, okay, now I can, I can look like a dick. You do my very Close the door on your way out. Yeah, yeah, I, I should have just left. <laughs> I should have just left. Um, have a nice day, Captain. Um, what was I? I was just thinking that, yeah, it is a terrible position because literally whoever is investigating this case has to kind of be the face of possibly saying Cyberlife, one of the biggest companies in the world, possibly richer than the it, richer than the own country, um, is apparently producing faulty androids. Do you know what that's going to do to their bottom line? And I believe no police officer or anything really wants to um, be part of that. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. If we get him to I'd talk, like to he'll, be, he'll feel very better. Sorry about that. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? Yeah, we'll just... No one's using that one. Thank you. Just, he, he, just be direct with him and give him his space. That's all we gotta do. Just give him his case. We're not gonna see the Deviant just yet. Absolutely not. We had to analyze, man. You should always do research before you go into battle. That's how you win. That's how you beat uh, The Witcher 3 on Death March. <laughs> you read the codex and know how to beat all the freaking enemies, man. Um, let's talk You're about a basketball. Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Oh, God, man. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Ah, okay. Oh. Did I interrupt him? Oh, I'm sorry about that. But then again, I didn't interrupt you of my own volition. Like we Do had a case. To Knights of the Black Death. I really like that music. No, you don't, Connor. It's full of energy. Connor, you listen to heavy metal. Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Okay, okay. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? Well, I can tell by the hairs. The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Oh, come on, Hank. Sumo. Okay. I call him Sumo. All right. Is he nice, big, and fat? I like a chonker myself. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering... What was his reason? Is there any reason yeah. in particular you despise me? He doesn't despise you. He despises... The existence of you yeah there is one oh get the fuck out of here hank now you're just being now you're just being a bitch on purpose have you known captain fowler for long yeah too long oh so you kind of know why he want he wants you to go down he's setting you up for a failure i was wondering do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Okay. Stop busting my balls, okay? Okay, okay. Damn, I'm sorry, Hank. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Yes, yeah, because we're in a new task force, Turn those baby. On your desk. Knock yourself out. We're, we're in a new task force, bro. Hell yeah. So how many of these crimes have happened? I'm interested now. Case reference disappearance victim Gordon Lopez reporting officer case status open the plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work when he returned the Android was nowhere to be found no trace of breaking the Android may have left the home without being ordered to okay all right and then okay so then we have a disappearance we have an attack the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by their model Working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dollars restaurant chain. Plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remained at large. He probably got fed up, man. He probably got fed up. It's like it's a hot dog. You want ketchup or mustard? Nah, can I have this? Is your mustard free range? Is your mu Nah, man. Another attack. Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. The android also tried several rooms in the house before taking flight. Attempted murder. Oh, this one was destroyed. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home as his fault. Oh, wait a minute. Leo Manfred. Case status solved. Involving Android, yes. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home as his father, Carl. 
The latter's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype. Oh, a known model and serial number was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. See, that whole little summation is pure bullshit. So Carl did say that there was an altercation between his son and the house android. And they were just destroyed. Why don't they tell me what, what did Carl not say? Hey, yeah, there was a fight, but you know, my Andrew was trying to defend himself or, you know, my, my son was punching it. We don't give a shit about that. That's not important information because it kind of seemed important information from this dude that was stabbed 28 times. Look, man, very much like police work narratives. You cannot make a narrative work. Okay. The evidence does not. You don't make the evidence fit the crime. You understand? You let the evidence speak for itself. You don't fit the crime. Oh, aggression. Todd Williams. Here we go. Oh, oh, we have this case. A plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android. The android has just returned from being repaired the previous day and has shown signs of aggression in the past. Really? Really? Oh, well. So we, okay, so now we are connected. Connor's on these two guys' trail. She she attacks, she's a suspect, he's missing, okay. Let's scan all these files. Oh, they had more than what I read. 243 files. Get the fuck out First of here. That's 243 months, androids going a little bit they all haywire. Started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. I'm telling you, no cop An wants AX to go against Cyberlife. reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Hank, please speak to me. We're trying to do this together. The sooner we do it, the sooner I'm gone. Think about it like that. Lieutenant Anderson, the faster we get on this, the faster I leave. Do you not want that? I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move Oh, past this was terrible. And hey, don't yeah. talk to me. Like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't realize he was going to come off like that. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Let's do it. If we got to fight, we got to fight. Let's do Listen, it. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Hank. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Like, Hank, un I understand you don't like them, but think about it like this. The sooner you get it done, the sooner they're away, and the sooner you're done with it. I don't know why people do that to us. I do that to myself sometimes, too. The sooner you do something, the sooner we can get this going. Hank got a lead. Hank is mad. He was always going to get mad, huh? That's some BS. I thought I could, you know, I thought we'd walk away a little bit better. But no, he was always going to get mad. Look at the flow chart. He was always going to get mad regardless of what you learned or not. That kind of sucks. Don't give me a cho Amanda, trust me. Hank is still warm. Okay. Okay, I missed something to read. Oh, yeah, I didn't even explore the station. I kind of just went straight to work. So what could have been the other outcome? Okay. So now we're investigating the crime. We are back at... With who? The motel? Oh, then we're back with Kara. Kara? My pronunciation is fucked when you have vowels like that. Alice is neutral. Yeah, because she didn't want to sleep in a car. <laughs> you want to go back home? Change appearance, cut hair. Give me a second, Alice. Oh, it's still raining. Okay. We got a crossover from heavy rain, I guess. Okay, so they want me to cut my hair, meaning I need scissors, meaning I need something. Death to androids, okay. Oh! 
What the you? What is that about? Why did you guess? I don't know. Emotions should be more tempered, I guess. At least I feel like. No, well, yeah, I have to leave. She's safe in there. Nobody's gonna come bothering her. What is this? Oh my god, robotic animals. Cyber wildlife. Yep. The US life expectancy now 91. Oh, that's cool. 0.4% of world population holds 94% of global wealth. Wow. Really? I could never imagine that. Oh man. I mean, in one way, I understand being able to preserve animals, especially animals that have gone extinct. But I'm sorry. There's just scissors right here? Okay. It's a little bit too convenient, but all right. Why don't you just take off the indicator light? You don't even have to cut your hair. Take off the indicator light. Nobody knows you're an android. Nobody. Especially since you, since you can change the skin color around it and make it like your own skin color. I don't know why she had to cut her hair. Ooh! Do I like her as blonde? Nah. White? Black? Nah. Yo, let's make her a blonde. Do I want to make her a blonde? I don't know why this is more important to me. Um, now nah, let's do it white. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Oh my gosh, she actually fucking is. Oh my fucking god. See, look at this. Look, look, look. And it changes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, she didn't even have to cut her hair. She didn't even have to cut her hair. Do you understand that? She didn't have to cut her hair. She could have just... Okay, someone needs to really explain to me the implications of the narrative from here. She never would have to cut her hair, just take off the LED. Boom. Nobody knows you're a fucking android. And you're not even in clothes. you telling me you look at somebody like this, you think they're an android? No. You don't see the indicator light. You don't see the uniform. Oh my god. I don't know. I feel like the narrative collapses on itself with shit like that, guys. Someone explain to me how it doesn't. They won't know you're an android. They're looking for an android. You don't look anything like an android. Oh, wait a minute. They have a picture of you. Okay. I'm going to shut my mouth for a second. Because I forgot they have a picture of her. Then again, I changed my hair color. So. Are we just going to wait until she wakes up? We got to get a move on. Yeah, and we gotta Alex. feed her. Wake up, Alex. Please wake up. All right. So it wasn't a nightmare. Not this time. No. Sorry. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. And hungry. What are we gonna do now? Yeah, that's a good question. That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. Okay. I mean, even though they got my picture, they're gonna be like, I'm not an android. You really look like a human. Absolutely. 1000%. Which has terrible implications for its narrative. But, whatever. Oh, snap! Alright. That's all for now. Oh snap, that's the bus driver or the maintenance guy. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? Do with what? Oh. I have no idea.
It took the first bus that came along. Yeah. And stayed at the end of the line. Yeah. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. I'm with you there. Demons do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. Okay, well, oh, yeah. Well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. Yeah, he's got a point. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. He doesn't want to give me any fucking props. You literally did it while they were looking in your direction. You're a moron. Reached a train station. We can sneak past cops with increasing level of danger. My destination is there. Where are threats? Oh, okay. Literally right there. That's why we're just going to go right through here. Ooh! Let's hide for a second. Because we got to cross over. Let's go. And we'll just go ahead and take her right over here. I'm just a mother walking her daughter. Oh, okay. Don't tell me. Oh, is it the cop right there? No, I thought it was cops. Do we have to cross the street again? Oh, there's cops right there. Yeah, let's just stand in line. Doing nothing more except relaxing. Oh my god, I got scared. Alright, we go. We have to cross again, don't we? Most likely. Alright, well it's green, so I'm not getting my child in danger. Okay, yeah, yeah we're good, we're good. Danger level is increasing. Okay. So how about we take this? Oh, so that's how they trick you out. Making you hold it thinking that... Hoping that you will uh, mess up and get caught. That's okay. I'm a gamer. I know how these things work. Okay, well we're almost there. Oh, look, see, oh, 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 they're coming right there. Okay, that's no problem, that's no problem. Again, she looks like a human, 10,000%. Yeah, okay, they have a picture, okay, so I'll shut up about that point. But she never had to cut her hair, just take off the LED. Oh my god. Is that Connor over there? That has to be. Why did you let go of my arm, Alice? Get far. <laughs> we'll find it sooner or later. Slipped right by you, bro. Let's go. I'll give Kara that one. Next time it won't. I'll actually be on a trail. Or maybe not. We'll see. It's a nice store. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. So I got on the train anyways. I don't have to pay transit fare or anything. Why did we run? We were literally okay. Nobody was after us. Why did we run? Are you okay? Oh, I'm about to say. Nobody's taking the train at this time? The fuck? Okay. All right. Reach the train safely. Could I not have reached the train safely? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it even has to happen depending on where I woke up. Hotel or their parking lot. Good lord. This is a really good... Change the channel. Alice hears about it. Todd, cheer Alice up. Look for breakfast. It's police forces. Connor investigates the motel. We would have interrogated the receptionist. We would have followed Hank. It would have had to have led to me and Kara on the street. Then what is this entire pathway? Oh my god, it could have ended terribly. 
There's four ways it could have ended. We reached the train safely. What are these? Oh man. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype. Well, yeah, because there's an increase in Android crime. Police assist on androids and <sighs> this guy. Oh, you feeling sad now? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I really don't have any. I really don't care for Marcus to tell you the truth. He was the whole reason I stopped playing this game because of the narrative collapse that I feel it's there. Someone has to really explain to me why this still is going on. Are you telling me Kara cannot go to the police and say, "Look, I know you're after me, but this is what happened," and not even that the little girl can tell you the truth? Look at her drawings. Look at the bruises. Excuse me? Did you draw that? No, that came out of... So what, did you have that in memory? Oh, that was probably a data transfer. Look for the graffiti. Okay. Oh. It's right here. The graffiti is literally right here. Spare some change? I mean, it was kind of obvious. Find this graffiti, okay. Next graffiti has yellow, so I'm looking for yellow. It's not here, because there's no yellow paint around here. So I gotta keep looking. Oh! Is that a little book? Yep. Let's see what's this next thing. Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Cyberlife the world's most powerful quantum calculator. Android soldiers, perfect killing machines. Well, we already have issues with that now. I remember um, in the war on terror back in 01, um, for that war, there was a big talk about uh, unmanned drones and unmanned shooting. And it, you know, it, it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because they didn't know they didn't know, um, you know, taking out the human element in war would make war better or worse in some ways. Nobody knows I'm an android. Literally. Nobody. Okay, looks like I'm close by. Oh, that's right there. Do you know where Jericho is? She's just charging, bro. Oh my god! I've seen this girl. What? Well, this is the third time I've seen her. First time I was with Kara. Second time. I think was with Kara too. That's this one. It's not really that difficult. Like, it's right there. Oh well. I guess for androids, we can update in real time. Okay, so now. We're looking at what? A corner? Oh, this is from above. Okay. So I need to find barbed wire fence. Barbed wire fence. Barbed wire fence. I gotta find a barbed wire fence and from there I'll be okay. Okay. I really gotta. Oh! Yeah, I hope he makes it. I heard the android attacked. Really? You're just gonna talk about it right in front of me like Why'd that? You know that? Go on. Go on. Oh, you're gonna stop for me? Thank you. This is barbed wire fence right here, isn't it? the other one that was from above and so below all right what's next graffiti oh it's behind it now okay so now we got to find another barbed wire fence or at least another chain link fence excuse me
Okay, well, thank you for letting me know it's on in this direction. I need to find a chain link fence. I'm behind that. White paint. Or, excuse me, a white wall with graffiti of red robots. Oh, there's a chain link fence right over there. In fact, the whole gas station. Oh, this one's too. Oh. That's it right here. There we are. That's one. Where's the next one? It should be right... I see the next one right there. That's one, right? Okay, I see the next one over there. Are you telling me I can't? Oh my god. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hold it down, hold it down. There we go. Stop acting sketch, bro. Okay, here we go. So I got that one. I'm gonna have to move this one, obviously. Okay, and I'm still missing one more. Oh. That's on the side of a building. Is there anything down here I can look at? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there she is. There's three in here too. Find a way to reach the roof, yeah. Um, okay. Is there a door over here? No. I can't move a car. Uh, can I use a barrel and like get on top of it? How do I get on the roof? I can't pick any of these things up to to stand on. Um, oh, see, I knew it. When in doubt, move a crate. Or in this case, a dumpster. All right, come on, Marcus, get up there. Um. Okay. Oh, well, you gotta be extra, bro. That's the second one. First one, second one. Where's the third one? I got one, I got two. Am I not seeing it? Am I not seeing, oh. Oh, oh, okay. They want to be cheeky on that one. Oh my God, okay. I gotta go back down? Oh, this is where they show us off exactly how he's gonna be able to escape and fight the police force when they come after him. Use it right to explain. Okay. No, I don't need to. Oh, I have to execute. Oh, I thought I could have other things. This is literally just showing us how he's going to be able to fight off the entire army of police force that's going to come after us. Or androids or whatever. This is just basically showing us like, look, this is how he's able to fight back. Even though he ever, he never had to. Even though he never had it in his programming. Somehow they're able to tap into resources and they're able to figure out exactly how much damage they can do. And how much they can jump. The third one should be just, there it is. What's the next one? Oh no, it can't be the next one. It's inside. Oh, I have to climb up there though. Alright, so. 
Is that the only way I can go? That doesn't make sense. How are you going to tell me I can take different paths and yet that's the only show me one path I could do? <laughs> that's kind of funny. Alright, so... No, but really, what's what's another route? Because that's... Oh! Yeah, I was figuring getting up there would be best. Alright, and then from here... I'd say we jump... Oh my god, why well, we got a wall run? We're not doing that. We're not doing a wall run, man. Oh, I guess we are. Because I'm right here. So then, hold on. Would I have not made it the other way? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're here. Yeah, I wanted to see the other way. Okay, yeah, I'd fall. Okay. Just wanted to know. Excuse me, good sir. Get back to this point. There we go. Okay. And then from here, we just have to... And then we can make it. Okay. So now, rather than actually giving us the ability to do it, we just kind of see it happen and then have it demonstrated to us. Like, did he have this ability in his program to be able to figure all that out? You know, you see what I'm saying? Or is this the whole thing of him developing his own kind of sense? I gotta find a column with a hole in it. Where well, here's a hole. Where's the column? Oh, okay, we have plenty of columns. I'm looking at it like this. Here we are. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, it's this whole big thing right here. Okay. Oh, that was that. Did someone try to find as well? Oh, is it here? Hold up, hold up. I need to find some wood boards through. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, there's definitely a moment. That can't be the hole. Is this the hole? Yeah, but I have to go on the other side. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to take it down the. the the wooden plant, the wooden boards. Come on. Okay, I'm literally right here. It's behind you. My, my, what are you looking at? Oh. Okay. Oh, Jericho, what is that? That's a... That's a ship. It's not a boat, it's a ship, man. A tanker, maybe. Or it's a cargo ship, for sure. There isn't a path up here? Oh, shit! Nope, I'm sorry. <laughs> No wonder I was like, why is it sending me here? Can I just walk across? Nah, man. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that was a startle. Jump. I don't like the fact that they keep calling androids a piece of plastic. They're not plastic, dude. They are fitted with tons of heavyweight metals and alloys, bro. They're not just plastic. 
And hell, hard plastic can still hurt. So I don't know why people act like androids are so... Because they made a plastic are so easy to what? To what? Like, no. Hard plastic is still plastic, dude. It still hurts. This is going to be an android refugee camp. Watch. I can already tell where this is going. I have to jump. Okay. I mean, excuse me? How did he? He was in the same clothes? No, he wasn't. He had his he had arms completely torn off that he had to find compatible arms. Where did we get clothes? Also, wouldn't they have given us or a shot of him analyzing analyzing what's underneath there? No, no, no. I'm just gonna jump off. Try to metaphorically show his leap of faith. Get out of here, bro. light over there. There's no reason for me to go in here. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not strong enough for that. Really? I find that highly unlikely. Jump scare watch. I hype. <laughs> Androids should be able to unlock, like, they should be strong. I don't know why they're not. Oh no, that wasn't a light, that was just the sunlight from up there. Oh. <laughs> There's no reason I should be scared. I literally just have to find it. What are they gonna do? Take my parts away? Okay. The other one would have to have gone through here. This one I'll open. Explore the boat. That's where we're at right now? Okay. Dude, like I'm not being watched right now? Really? Especially after we just... Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh! Hello, guys. Daniel! Welcome to Jericho. Get my suit up, bro. I was always gonna meet and fall off the I fall off the catwalk. So what did I miss? I don't know. Read fortune teller, so I guess it's that I haven't read anything. See android body. I did see an android body. 
Huh. All right, guys, I think that will be the end for today. Uh, thank you very much for joining me this Thursday. I hope to see you guys this Saturday and Sunday for my 100% uh, playthrough stream of Death Stranding. Uh, and I hope uh, you guys have a great weekend. I hope your first two weeks of May have went without a hitch. And I hope uh, you're all gearing up for a good summer. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs> Bye. Hey there, it's AD. Thanks for stopping by. And very much like that like button, you can also hit that subscribe button to be updated whenever I have a new part coming out. Until next time, bye.